What is up you guys, Michael Taylor here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys, the viewers, how to preserve and keep dead snakes and other dead specimens. So I'm going to try my best to explain all the steps and how I'm going to go about this situation. Um, I'm fairly new to this um, practice as well. I've never done this before. This is my first time. I did a little bit of research. I had some troubles finding information on this subject, so I figured I'd go ahead and make a video. There are a few YouTube videos. But I just felt like none of them really um, demonstrated all the methods you can use to preserve dead snakes and other dead animals. Um, so basically we're going to um, give you guys a rundown on everything you see on the table. Um, I'm dealing with a little issue as you can see near the snake. Um, there are, I don't know if they're yellow jackets or what they are, but it appears they're out today and that's not the first one that I've ran into. So hopefully I don't get attacked while making this video. <laughs> but um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So first off on the right, we have denatured ethanol. This is 90.5% 200 proof ethanol. Um, and basically that's what we are going to be using to soak the snake in. That will actually be going into the jar that the snake is going in. Um, so yeah, that's that. Over here on the left, we have formaldehyde, also known as formalin. That is what we're gonna be using to fix the snakes with. Um, and how we're gonna fix the snakes is with this syringe right here that is a one milliliter dull point syringe. Um, dull point because um, obvious reasons, it's kind of hard to obtain a pointed syringe on the internet, um, like I said, for obvious reasons. Um, so, like I said, we're going to be injecting the formalin into the snake every inch or so. Um, that's going to be fixing the snake just so the snake doesn't rot inside um, before the denatured ethanol can get into the center of the snake. And then we have these rubber gloves right here. Um, I usually wouldn't use rubber gloves, but um, for obvious reasons, chemicals and... Um, you know just touching a dead snake it's not really the healthiest thing to do so um, I'm gonna be wearing those um, and so yeah that's that you don't have to wear rubber gloves but I just want to you know for my own sake and then right here we have our basic plain jar um, that's what we're gonna be actually storing the snake in um, and I would suggest um, trying to get a jar that's as clear as possible, doesn't have any writing on it, um, just so you can see the snake completely, um, get a full 360 view of the snake. Um, if you get jars with like ripples or um, any kind of texture to the glass, um, it's going to be a little hard to see the snake and it just kind of ruins the point of viewing the snake through the glass. So the snake we are using today is actually a southern hognose, um, Heterodon simus. It was found in uh, central western Florida by me. Um, I did not kill this snake, it was actually DOR, which means dead on the road. Um, found it when I was road cruising. Um, this snake is fairly uncommon, um, not typically seen um, during the summer months. But um, So yeah, I decided I was just going to keep it since it's such an uncommon snake. Um, very beautiful as you can see um, nice pattern nice coloration and um, you can just imagine how I um, saw it when it was dead on the road it was way prettier than that um, I kept it in the freezer for a while so it lost a little bit of its coloration um, but yeah it was just a very very tragic find I'll actually uh, post a picture here of how I found it down the road um, it might be a little graphic but um, yeah so um, let's go ahead and get um, preserving this snake um, I'll run you down um, the steps that you need to do. Um, so we're just going to start off with the formaldehyde. So hopefully I don't get killed by these yellow jackets or whatever they are. I'm not very good with bees and wasps and stuff like that. But um, they're, they're out today in full force. So. <clears throat> so one thing that I learned when dealing with chemicals and preserving snakes, I'm new to this, I didn't think this would be an issue, but do it outside. This uh, formaldehyde or formalin, um, I ordered it online, it came in a box, opened the box up and it actually spilled. Um, this is not the original container that it was in. So um, I learned very quickly that it has a very, very strong smell. 
Um, you breathe it in, your throat and eyes will start to burn. It's awful. Um, in fact, the whole house yesterday smelled like formalin. So definitely do this outside, um, just so you can avoid any of those issues. Now we're just gonna go ahead and take some of this formaldehyde. And we're just gonna fix the snake. So, like I said, I'm new to this. So we're gonna start down here and inject every inch or so. There we go. That's a good one right there. And this is a dull tip syringe, so this is gonna make my job a little bit more difficult than it needs to be. Um, but it's all I could get at the time, so we're gonna try not to damage these scales too much. All right, so that's good. Let's see if I'm still in frame. Yes, we are. We're good. As you can see, why I'm wearing rubber gloves it can get pretty nasty. As you can see that B or whatever it is all up on me. There we go. This is definitely more rough than I think it should have been. Um, if I ever do this, I'm definitely going to try to get a hold of a pointed tip syringe. I'm just gonna inject a little bit through the mouth. <clears throat> like I said, I'm new to this, so. Um, not familiar with the whole procedure, but just going with what I read and what some friends recommended. So now that we have the formalin, come on B, get out of the way. Now that we have the formalin injected into the actual snake, um, we're going, going to go ahead and put the snake in the jar. Um, and then after that, we are going to put the denatured ethanol into the jar with the snake. Okay, so we have our jar right here. Just gonna unscrew the cap. Now these jars come with metal caps, but you can buy these um, plastic caps. Um, makes your job much easier. You don't have to um, work with that um, little metal ring. And so it's just a basic cap. <clears throat> now, we wanna go ahead and put the snake, I'm gonna go ahead and move this and bring my paper plate. We wanna put the snake um, in the jar tail down first, um, just to give it that better look. If you have the head down first, um, it kind of just looks nasty and, um, you know. So, let's see if you guys can see this. Yes, you can. Okay. Still getting attacked by bees, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and use this syringe to kind of try to work with the snake. Okay, I don't think that's gonna help. Go ahead and tilt the jar on its side. There we go. And there we go. That's about as good as I'm gonna get it. Uh, the snake is fairly stiff, so it's a little bit hard to work with, but that's not bad, honestly. All right, so now we are going to um, use the denatured ethanol. Now, um, we're going to be putting this stuff in that jar with that snake. Um, now, working with this stuff and also formalin, you gotta be careful. Um, I took my gloves off, but um, like I said, this stuff is super flammable. So, um, doing it outside is your best bet to stay safe. I'm gonna go ahead and just pour this in the jar. I don't know if I'm gonna fill it up all the way. Oh. And as you can see, there's a ton of debris just kind of swirling around in there, and that's because, um, you know, the snake the snake is dead, so it has, you know, decaying cells and stuff like that, so it's all just kind of stirred up in there. Um, but that'll eventually settle down, to my knowledge, so we're going to go ahead and put this cap on. 
and there you go there is a preserved southern hognose snake and actually I think it looks pretty cool um, and if you're not into what I am into you know preserving snakes herping you might be wondering why someone would want to preserve a snake um, that's basically just because um, you know either you don't want to let the snake go to waste or um, some universities um, other colleges um, institutes they preserve snakes for DNA samples and locality samples so like this snake could be used um, for a um, locality snake that was found in the county that I found it in or it could also be used um, for DNA samples um, so they could test the DNA you know all kinds of different reasons um, and I find it fascinating I know a lot of people don't but um, you know it is what it is I think it's pretty neat but yeah that's that so um, thank you guys for watching I really appreciate it if you found this video helpful um, you know let me know in the comment section if you didn't find it helpful and you have any questions um, ask them down in the comment section I might do a secondary video to this if I'm not pleased with the turnout of this video but um yeah so thank you very much for watching Michael Taylor Reptiles peace out